Welcome to this Arnold Culliford tutorial on the I-Cord cast-off method. This video is part of our Confident Knitting series, 12 patterns to teach you 12 new techniques from the world's best knitting designers. Today's tutorial will show you how to work the I-Cord cast-off around your prime blanket. This beautiful blanket was designed by Carol Feller and you'll find the pattern in our book Confident Knitting. I'm going to show you how to work a simple I-cord cast off, turning live stitches like these into this beautiful cord edge. And I'm also going to show you how to work plain I-cord rounds in order to turn the corner of the blanket as well. As usual, our video is divided into chapters, so if you want to jump to a particular section, just hover along the time bar and you'll be able to go straight to the section that you're looking for. The first stage in working an I-cord cast off is to cast on three stitches. These three stitches will be your I-cord stitches and we're going to cast them on using the cable cast on method. So this is where you insert your needle tip straight from front to back through between the first and second stitches on your left needle tip. So you're just going straight through between them, you're not going into the stitch. You're then going to wrap the yarn around your right needle tip and pull that loop through and that casts on your first stitch when you slip it onto the left needle. I tend to leave that loop nice and loose and then it's very straightforward to put the right needle tip back between the cast on stitch and the next stitch on your needles and then you can tighten it. So tighten that up, wrap the yarn around and pull it through again. Pull out a nice sized loop, pop it onto your left needle and then put your right needle tip between that cast on stitch and the next stitch on the needle and tighten it up then. So now we've added two and this is going to be the last one. Wrap the yarn around, pull that through and this time we can pop it straight onto the needle and tighten it up. Don't tighten too much because otherwise it makes it hard to get into that first stitch. So that was the cable cast on method and we've used it to add three stitches to our left needle tip. We're now going to work the basic I-cord method which is to knit two and then do a left leaning decrease to join the third I-cord stitch with one of the blanket edging stitches. So I'll show you how to do that. We're just going to knit into the first two stitches. Just normal, nothing fancy, knit two. And now my left leaning decrease preference is for an SSK and I work that by slipping the first stitch knit wise. I then choose to slip the next stitch purl wise because I find it easier, but you can also stitch it, slip it knit wise and you then put the left needle tip back into the front of those two stitches on your right needle and that allows you to knit both of them through the back loops. And that has now joined one of our I-cord stitches to one of our blanket edging stitches. All we have to do now is return these three I-cord stitches to the left needle tip. So you're just slipping them back, we're not twisting them or anything, we're just returning them. And we now repeat that same process over and over again as we go around the edge. So we knit two. When you knit this first one you'll want to give a bit of a tug so that you bring the yarn around firmly. Knit two. And now I'm joining with a slip knit wise, slip purl wise. And the left needle goes through the front of those two stitches, allowing you to knit the two of them together through the back loop. So that's joined another blanket edge stitch. Slip them back to the left needle. 
and again knit two SSK you can do a knit two together through the back loop or whatever your preferred left leaning decreases is fine and we continue to work that all the way along until we reach the corner marker and you can see there that the edging is starting to take shape don't worry about how it looks until you've done quite a, a good length of it because it does settle down I've continued to work knit to SSK and then slip the stitches back to the left needle all the way along the edge and that's created that really smart I-cord edging and we've now reached the corner so I've taken out my corner marker and I'm going to show you how to work a couple of rounds of plain I-cord just to ease the edging around the corner if you if you continue to work the I cord cast off round the corner without doing any plain rounds you'll find that it kind of folds in on itself it's too tight there's not enough cord to get round that corner so this is how we sort that out so first of all you're going to slip your stitches back to your left needle tip and then this time instead of doing the decrease we're just going to knit the three stitches so one giving it a tug on the first one two, three, okay we've knitted three that's all there is to it we're now going to return those stitches to the left needle and we're going to knit them again Oops. give it a bit of a tug as you work those first two just to Keep the cord nice and snug. And that's just added a couple of plain I cord rounds in there that will just allow it to go around the corner. And you now just return to working the I cord cast off as before. Slip the three stitches back to the left needle tip. And then we're going to knit two. giving it a tug and then SSK so slip slip the next one which is the edging stitch from the blanket put the needles into the front and work them together through the back loops and then return them to the left needle and carry on once you've continued to work a little bit further down your edge, you'll see that those extra plain rounds at the corner have just made this sit really, really nicely. And that's what you need to do each time you reach the corner is just work a couple of rounds where you just knit three rather than doing knit two SSK. I hope you found this tutorial on working the I-cord cast off helpful and that you'll feel really confident in finishing your prime blanket. It has the I-cord edging around the edges of the blanket but also across the top of the cute little pocket that features in this design. We are able to keep our video tutorials free from adverts thanks to the support of our amazing customers. You can find out more about Confident Knitting by clicking the link up top here to visit our website and to be sure of catching our next video tutorial subscribe to our YouTube channel with the bottom down here. Thanks ever so much for watching. Bye-bye.